Uh, hi, I'm Sarah Babcock. I am currently a master's student at Duquesne University studying public history. But this summer, I got the opportunity to come down to Virginia and be the women's history interpretive media intern here at Shenandoah National Park. I'd like to start off by thanking the National Parks Foundation, who funded the Women in Parks Innovation and Impact Grant that served as the catalyst for this project. Their support allowed us to amplify the histories of women who lived and worked in this part of the Blue Ridge before and after Shenandoah became a park. As part of that work, I conducted research on several noteworthy women that our interpretation and media teams will use to highlight their stories going forward. In addition to the research, I also conducted a number of history-focused programs, including a walking tour of Skyland, which is a resort that predates the park by about 40 years. I also hosted an open house at Massanutten Lodge, which is our historic house museum at Skyland. One really exciting thing about Shenandoah is that when you start to study the history of the park, uh, it becomes pretty evident how often women played a really vital role in its creation. One example, of course, is that Addie Pollock, who was a cabin owner at Skyland, was the only woman in a group of about 150 people that went to lobby in Washington for Shenandoah to be picked as a national park. There were a number of women who worked as the managers of the Lewis Mountain Campground and Restaurant. Um, that, of course, was the segregated space for non-white visitors to eat and stay and picnic. Obviously, Lou Henry Hoover has a footprint here in Shenandoah, but I got to travel to the Herbert Hoover Presidential Library in West Branch, Iowa, to learn more about Lou Henry Hoover, who was a pioneering first lady in her own right, and who also designed President Hoover's vacation home here at Shenandoah. Visitors can still go inside the building that her and President Hoover stayed in when they vacationed down here. So I guess my takeaway from this project would be that every place has a very unique, complicated history, and if you look hard enough, you'll find all types of history in those stories. Shenandoah National Park is just one example of a place with several overlapping histories that come together to create a really complicated story. And I'm really, really honored that I got to be a part of telling that story this summer.